Subscribe to our YouTube Club 520. Uh, we clowning on that mother. Just hit the button. <laughs> God. Don't ask more questions. Subscribe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You a vet. You been in the league a long time. What's your hardest league matchup? Or who's the person that give you like, damn, I gotta get ready because shit might get spooky. Man, so RP, I'm gonna say the Mamba. Facts. First show. Saw him. That shit. That mean you look back at that shit now and you like, I really guarded him. Facts, you know, man. I really guard him. But then I also I won nights. You know what I mean? Like he won nights, but I also won nights too. Damn. I respect. And earned that respect from him. Uh <laughs> Joe Johnson. Nasty. Joe. <laughs> Nasty. ISO Joe. ISO. Nasty. Shout out. He was too big for you, Paul. Joe Johnson. <laughs> Joe Johnson. Uh, I mean, no, nah, yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. Right. I, I tried to act like this. Hold that on, was, that was, that was, was <laughs> that was, Like, you, like, emphasized it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> went the, you went ISO on it for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. Car the nigga 6'8", 245. That nigga damn near built like LeBron, bro. I would say... And then uh, I'm trying to think of a little guard. Damn. Shit. You was in the West, too, well, for the see, longest. His rookie year. You... Monte. Monte Ellis was nice. This is Seppi Bullet. Quick Monte. Hey, with Monte going, that right, going Man, right. All right. He's going right. And you got to cut it off. <laughs> Flash D-Wade was tough, too, though. Ah, yeah. When he, was, when he was Flash. Yeah. But how is that, though? Like, your rookie year, you know, you had an unconventional way into the league. You have a good career, great career at Marquette. You go undrafted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's that process like, you know, going through the whole draft process? What was that like? Shit, I was pissed, mm. um, honestly. Like, I did, like, 13, 14 workouts. Okay. And then uh, worked out with with Steph. You know, we all we had same. Remember Jack McClinton? Mm -hmm. Shout out to Jack. Jack, Sam, you know, we all, you know, just competing all the time. And uh, felt great. Didn't lose a workout. You know, I know a lot of motherfuckers be saying they like not nah, one on one, two on. You know how the workouts yeah, yeah, yeah. go. I didn't lose a competition workout, so I'm seeing guys like you know. And shout out to have great careers, Danny Green. Mm -hmm. You know, remember Jonas Jarebko, yep. damn know, Sam Young, and yep. again all these guys um, that are on like in that same Dewan Summers from yep. uh, uh, Georgetown. Yep. yep. So like, uh, I see them get drafted, and. I'm like, damn, I I was cooking. You know, I did everything I was supposed to do. I did what I was supposed to do in college. I did what I was supposed to do in these workouts. And I remember my agent brought it to me. He said, you have, we got two options. We have three options. He said, we got a job offer for you in Turkey for 160,000. Uh, I don't remember what the other one was, but that was like 140,000. He said, or Utah called and they want you to come into uh, their summer league and uh, fight for a spot. So I was like, I didn't understand at that time that if you didn't get drafted, in, that if you were drafted in the second round, you still had to make the team. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah. So I was like, okay, uh, what do I have to do? He was like, Utah is in a situation where, you know, that was Matt Harper. Mm -hmm. You know, like he's probably going to retire. You know, they drafted a big Goran Sutan at the mm -hmm. time. And they were like, they like you though. So you can go in and show that you belong, like you can go take that spot. So I was like, okay, say less. So I was in Utah, like August. Damn. Early. That was before the league started in the middle of October. Yeah, I was in Utah in August. Like as soon as I was done with school, I was out there. I was in hotel, stayed up there. All I did was went to the gym, came back to the hotel, sat up and laid till it was time to go back over and over and over. Just it was working. on the grind, off the dribble. Just working, just going, going, going. And then... Summer league started. I wanted to already be acclimated to the to the uh, altitude. Yeah. Had a summer league in Orlando. Didn't go that great. Pressing. You know, yeah, want to do all the things that they say you can't do. It's pressing. Then I said, damn, you know what? Fuck it. You damn if you do, damn if you don't. Be yourself. Have a great game. Roll my ankle. Sacramento call said they want you in summer league in Vegas. I was like, shit, that's a blessing. Cool. Go out to summer, uh, summer league with Sacramento. I take that same mentality, like, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Play great. Just Sacramento, Utah calls again. Says, we want you to come back to training camp. 
And I was like, all right, this is the second time they done double down. They fucking with me. They, I, yeah, I, I got to yeah, go get this now. Yeah, you yeah. know, like I got to go get this. So then I'm out there. I don't remember going home. I don't remember going home. I don't remember sleeping. I don't Man, remember doing nothing. It was just being. Get it. And that yeah, was it. Bro. And that's crazy because like you think about it now, <clears throat> even second round picks or even some of my draft free, they coming in, they got straight to training camp damn there. Yeah. You had to fight to get the training camp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had to get to training camp. And then the other crazy thing is, so when I was on the roster or whatever, like, I had to check out at a hotel every single night we went on the road. Yeah. I had to take my luggage. I only had two suitcases. I had to take it with Everything me. with you. Take everything with Damn. me. Damn. Because up until January 10th, I could have been cut. Yeah, yeah. Damn. So I'm checking out every single time. So like every game, every practice. I'm Practice is my game. Facts. So how you go from that to starting? <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, Jerry Slow. Jerry Slow. Bro, hey, but that's what I love about him. He give people opportunity. Yep. Yeah. Shout like, out to Andre Owens. Yeah. yeah. Like, honestly, I remember I was in the gym one time on an off day, and Sloan came in, and he had smiled. Like, he just, I don't know if y'all ever like Sloan, but like, he like, how you doing, son? I'm like, I'm good, coach. He's like, go home. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm a rookie. I'm like, I ain't going home. Like, yeah, what you talking about? Like, I got to be here. He's like, go home. I was like, okay. Go back to the house. And I'm just like, damn, I don't know what to do. Yeah. You know? And I think he just saw that. And then they ended up trading my guy, Ronnie Brewer. That shit broke my heart when that happened. Traded him. And then it was just opportunity. Thanks. Like, it was just... Go and it was just like that was just the mentality. You just gotta keep going. Yeah, and that's something you can speak to. Shit, you never know when your moment happened, but when it happens, shit, all that other shit that happened before don't matter. You nah, really gotta no. go play. You yeah. gotta go prove yourself. You get, you really get one opportunity in the league. They like everybody get that one moment, and you gotta like seize that moment. But if you don't, that's when you get lost in the sauce. Like I seen a lot of people to go out there. You know, somebody get hurt. Yeah, they gonna be out two or three games, and them two or three games could be your moment to show like. I'm ready. And then you can maybe crack the rotation or another team can see it. And that's something they might pick you up in the summer free agency. Exactly. And that's kind of what happened to me, really. Uh, with Kurt getting hurt in the playoffs, mm -hmm. yep. got an opportunity to play. I remember that. Yeah. Threw your ass in the fire. Fire. <laughs> but that's fire. you. He started that's, yeah, in, the the West, West. He in the West, though. You started starting <laughs> wing oh, in the had, West. Had Mellow. Mellow. Hey, in hey, the playoffs. Mellow. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> that's that, tough. But that's, that's the thing, though, is like, you, like, never took, you never blamed nobody else. Yeah, fact, You know what yeah. I mean? It's just, like, some. it's, it's hard to, to digest. Like, it is what it is yeah. sometimes, but I just got to keep doing my job regardless fact. and be ready because at some point, 82-game season is too long. Somebody going to get it. So, you know, Somebody something's going to happen. Opportunity, fact. life too long. Like, it, something's going to happen. Like, yeah. it's just if you mentally prepared that I did what I'm supposed to do this day, then I'm ready for whatever happens. That's a fact. That's crazy. And yo, you got the matchup against Melo. We Ooh. got we got a, one of my co-hosts, man. They think Melo is That's his favorite player. She's jersey somewhere around. Melo, right there. Hey. Yeah. Talk about the way. You know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> over I'm loving your stories, bro. I used to be talking shit, but we talking about Melo now, so I gotta relax a little longer. Melo's <laughs> tough, bro. Melo is one That's of the best. That's your toughest matchup, Wes. I can't say that. Yeah, it is. <laughs> he up there, though. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I got prime KD. Nah, I don't give a you know, fuck. I had KD. James. I had James. <laughs> James who? James Harden. Nah, don't do that. Harden. Yeah, I respect it. Uh, but Melo, though, like, he's, that's that's what he do. He Maybe score. He, he got you off the first step, or did he put you in a blender off the, on the block? <laughs> hey, me and Melo fought, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he might have got the best beat, but I won matchups, too. Me and Melo <laughs> competed. Respect, respect. Me and Melo competed, bro. That's one thing you can say. Your favorite player respects me. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. I know, he, fire, I know you had to get some of that cooking, though. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I remember yeah, in the garden, he had 50. Damn. I was with Portland. Yeah, yeah. He had 50. I don't know if he might have hit two threes. Damn. Damn. You know how you know how when he catch it, he start he back yeah, jab and look down. Yeah. It was already up in there. He, he, he didn't score 50 off no threes too before. Damn. Was it? He got another game. Yeah, he do. Yeah. He do. That's like Shay. You know how it's in now. Like he really be dropping 40 balls and maybe shoot two threes. Yeah. So tough. He different. All right, so I, before we move on, how many of that 50 was on you? <laughs> I probably had like 17. You're a real nigga, bro. That's a fair <laughs> I probably had like 17, huh? You're a real hey, nigga. but I ain't go back. I ain't go 
You score, you, you got to do it again. Nah, for you sure. You got to keep going. Like, nah, that's first. how it's going to be. I respected you because you played D and you had a fucking burner too. Well, you got a burner. Uh, yeah. You still in the league, but yeah. You like, started that yeah, shit. Yeah, all that shit. <laughs> that arrow <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, oh, you don't get your credit. 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 Hey, you need, hey. Nah, real shit, bro. Nah, nigga, we tapped in, bro. I got I got low-key hot when I saw 2K. It was in 2K. I said, damn. You started that shit. I said, damn. I was the first time I said, you know, I said, that shit hard. Sex. You 2K. Yeah, they need that. You need some royalties on that tough. shit. Niggas, oh, but it be like that sometimes. It's cool, it's cool. Yeah, they yeah. know.